It's full length. It's modest. It's cute. Y'all see his eye. Look at his eye. Get the cold foam. And she real pretty, real nice. And on my iPad, girl, the iPad has changed my life for the better. I don't know, influencers be acting mad out of touch when they be getting PR, like, I be hype. I'm like, you wanted to send me? Edges gone, edges. Hey girl, hey, welcome back to another weekly vlog. A long time, no see, I know. It's a lot. First, don't mind the cough drop in my mouth. My mouth is like, or my throat is very dry. Pretty sure we're all getting sick. I'm actually getting dressed to go to Ezra's doctor's appointment because my son, this is the first time getting sick, y'all. The right eye was really goopy, so I was just putting my breast milk on it because, you know, all the moms were like, you know, breast milk helps with that. Just put the breast milk. And it went away. It was great. But then this morning, he woke up and it was the other eye. So at this point, I'm thinking it's some type of infection. And we're just going to go to the doctor. But I haven't seen y'all in a long time. And I miss y'all. And oh my gosh, girl. Thank you for picking up the call because it has definitely been a lot. So we have experienced a loss in the family. It definitely, it hit. It hit hard, y'all. We lost... Javon's cousin which is like a sister to me but also like a sister to Javon they literally grew up together so it has been rough it's been really hard like navigating grief the only really close person I've ever lost is my grandma and that was a few years back so and this is the first time we've experienced it within our marriage so I'm just glad that we have each other to lean on we're finally home y'all we were gone for a week and we actually got home girl we left Saturday at like 7 p.m so we technically got home sunday morning at 4 a.m it was really 3 a.m though but the time changed so we got home at 4 a.m and um rested all of yesterday just kumbaya i mean it has literally been emotionally a lot for us so just having like a day of rest was super needed but today we are back in the swing of things y'all when i say your girl needs to get back on schedule back on track um, I haven't really worked in a week, so I have, I'm just behind, you know, I'm just behind. And it's okay, I'm extending my self-grace because obviously the circumstances, but we just have to get back into the swing of things. So this week is definitely going to be filled with getting back on track. And we have a really exciting project this week. We're going to be building my prayer closet. I realized one thing I need is like a designated area to just spend time with God. And I've been getting a lot of inspiration for my prayer closet. So I went on Amazon when we were driving home because it was an eight hour drive and I bought a whole bunch of stuff so that we can design my prayer closet. Um, it's going to be upstairs in the guest bedroom closet because that closet's really big and it's not utilized at all and the only time we have guests is when my mother-in-law stays so I feel like that's just the best you know option for me because this closet is just filled with clothes and I want something that is like designated to the Lord it's going to be super exciting doing that with y'all this week I'm still juicing thank you <laughs> y'all were over here like cracking up at my juicing journey little did y'all know like I was really fighting like y'all were not about to see me juice because I was just gonna quit but <laughs> I'm glad that I continued and I fought the fight because I want to do like new juices with y'all every week um I'm back vlogging y'all so I should be consistent for this next month so you should expect weekly vlogs for me every week for the rest of march so yeah like i said we are going to be on our way to ezra's appointment here very soon i actually got so many packages in while we were away so we're definitely going to do some unboxing sometime this vlog but on a more important note i got a package in from shein and they're actually sponsoring this week's vlog so we're going to do a whole try on haul so we can figure out what i'm going to wear today what i'm going to wear to ezra's appointment i'm excited you know i love a good shein i love a good two-piece set and when i say i was stacking up on my two-piece sets so i'm about to put them on all right y'all so i did get a package in from shein y'all know i love to go on my 3 a.m. Shein sprees and that's exactly what I did. I found so much cute stuff. Not only like two pieces, but I also got some dresses because the weather is starting to warm up. So let's see the things we got. I'm super excited. I'm gonna have all of these items linked down below for y'all so y'all can shop. But you know, Shein is that girl. So let's get into it. First item. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is so cute. Y'all, I used to do so many Sheen hauls back in the day and I need to start again because this dress is adorable. It's full length. 
it's modest it's cute i'm definitely entering like my modest era y'all know i've been on this journey but i feel like this is the epitome of covered up but still sexy like i love this yes 10 out of 10 love this all right y'all next up we have this really cute flowy summer dress you guys know i'm a mom i'm gonna wear a dress i love a dress a summer flowy dress this is my vibe all day i would dress this up with some accessories definitely some gold jewelry kind of like what i have on now i just feel like this is just a summer must have it's so so cute okay i think we have another dress y'all yes another dress i'm gonna dress up a girl another cute one just a really pretty pink baby doll dress another summer fave for me i could see the walks with the fam i could see us going out on a little summer brunch like covered but cute is the vibe this summer and i feel like sheen is giving exactly that oh my gosh this is cute this is cute like this is actually really cute and i love pink on me i'm trying to expand my color palette y'all you know i'm a neutral girl but having a nice pop of color especially in the spring is so adorable okay so i think these are some flats i've been having some issues y'all because i like to dress up but i don't like to wear heels and i'm like what can i wear that's in between and at this point I'm gonna just have to be a flats girl. These ones are super cute. They are like this off-white color. They've got a little bit of like a shimmer, a light shimmer in them. I just feel like they're a very good staple to have, especially in the spring season. All right, we've got one more dress and then we're gonna do some two pieces. I feel so pretty in this. What? I feel so, this is giving mother. It's giving, yeah, you're a mom, but like you're cute. Love the pattern on this, love the color, love the fit. I feel like it fits me nice up here, not too revealing. I'm wearing this to church. I'm wearing this to church this Sunday. I love this. It's giving spring, light, flowy, airy, still beautiful. Tell me this is not the cutest set ever. Tell me this is not the cutest set ever. Loungewear, loungewear, looking cute in the house. It's a must. This is giving exactly that. The strawberries are such a cute little detail. I love how comfortable and thick this is. This is from the Daisy line of Sheen. I love the Daisy line because it's just a little bit higher quality stuff and it feels like it. Like you could definitely feel the difference. Love these little strawberries. This does button all the way down. I left two unbuttoned to let it flare. I think this is so cute. I love this. This is adorable. Absolutely love this two piece set. I've already worn it. I cannot lie to you because it's that cute. But again, another quick throw on. Look cute, look put together, but not much. This is a mother must have. This two piece set is a mother must have. One thing I love about these clothes is yes, they're cute, but you can also do life in them, okay, right? Because I know we don't want to feel uncomfortable. I personally hate feeling uncomfortable. If I feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna take the outfit off. But this, you could wear it all day and feel cute, but not uncomfortable, which is a must. Lastly, we have another two piece. This is a black and white set. I love the sleeves on this. I just love a wide sleeve. I think it just adds that cute little detail. Love the neck on it. The hem of the pants also is white, so it just kind of coordinates with the whole outfit. And I think I'm gonna be wearing this today because it's a little cooler outside. It's a little warmer wearing it, so it will be perfect to wear outside. But I love this. I actually love everything I got. Like, there's nothing I don't like. Oh, I did grab a pair of shoes I wanna show you guys. These are a perfect spring boot, okay? They're knit, they're not too heavy, they're still so adorable, but it's not a stiletto which you know I need in my life. I'm not wearing stilettos, I retired stilettos. But this is like the perfect dress up boot where you could still look cute, but it's just not uncomfortable, you know? All right, girl, I hope you enjoyed this little sheen haul. So use my code on the screen to shop any of these products. I'm gonna also have them linked in the description for you. It's definitely tea, so get into it. But let's head into the kitchen so we can go to Ezra's appointment. <sighs> Oh, we love a good two-piece. You guys know I'm the two-piece queen because there's nothing easier than throwing on a cute little two-piece set and you're out the door, but you still look put together. So thank you, Shein. But it is 11.15. We're going to head out in 15 minutes. I did just make a little bit of breakfast. I love using a toaster oven, y'all, opposed to, like, obviously the microwave or even an air fryer because some things don't need to be air fried, but you just revert to the air fryer because you don't want to microwave it. But a toaster oven is, like, the perfect in-between. But yeah, girl, when I say I missed you, I missed you. Like, I can't even, like, put it into words right now because I'm still processing emotions as well. But it was definitely a hard loss for our whole family. So just keep us in your prayers, please, because 
we need it. I just felt like the past chain of events really did encourage me to make my prayer closet. I've always thought about a prayer closet, like, oh, it would be nice to have. But then I really started to think about it. I'm like, girl, you could literally just make one upstairs. And I just need God in this moment, you know? There's certain things that happen in your life where there's no person, there's no thing that could fill the void you have. It's literally just God. And that's how I feel right now. So I just want to be more intentional about creating an atmosphere and space like for the Holy Spirit to move and speak. Like I want to have all of my prayers. Because one thing about me, like I pray a lot, but I don't always write down my prayers. So like God may have answered a prayer and I didn't even, like I'll acknowledge it, but I don't actually write it down and like make it plain. Like, Lord, you answered this prayer. Thank you. So that's what I want to start doing. I'm gonna have like a whole prayer board where I have like the prayers I'm praying, the prayers that have been answered, like all of that, you know? We were actually supposed to be in New York this week, but considering what happened, we are moving our trip to June. Um, we're gonna be, we, and then we were supposed to be going to Ohio at the end of this month, but Eva's baby shower got moved to the end of this month. We're also gonna be planning that, so we've got a lot to do for that. And then next month, which is April, we'll be in Ohio at the end of April for my mother-in-law's birthday. And then May is the anniversary trip. Mm. Girl, I'm so excited. We're gonna get into the tea, but I'm gonna show you guys the resort we're going to. It's a little five-star all-inclusive. It's in between Cancun and Tulum, so it's called Rivera Maya. Girl, I guess we we'll talking about it. Let's just talk about it. It's a TRS. TRS Yucanta, I think that's how you say it. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. It is giving like very much anniversary. Like, <laughs> let's just pray I don't have another kid on this trip. <laughs> Girl, I can't fathom the fact of that. So we're not even putting that out into the atmosphere. But it's so beautiful. The rooms are absolutely gorgeous. I've heard so many reviews. When I say I've been on TikTok researching my life away. Not only that, the room we're staying has its own like private pool. So it is just a vibe when I say, yeah. There's like a whole nightlife situation on the resort. So there's just a lot of activities and stuff. Obviously all the food and drinks and stuff are inclusive, but then there's like so many different um, sister hotels around, which you also have access to. So yeah, it's just gonna be really, really fun. And I feel like we need this, you know, we need just a little kumbaya moment get out the country we're actually gonna go get our passports this week as well because i don't even have a passport so we need to go get a passport i need to hurry up i'm gonna get ezra in the car um we're gonna go to his appointment i'm gonna show you guys his eye though it's crazy Siga. Siga. come come tiga What's going on with the hair today? Y'all see his eye. Look at his eye. My Tiga. Tiga song. And then on top of that, y'all. So this started probably like three days ago. And he also hasn't had a, a bowel movement in three days. And he usually goes every single day. So I know those are probably coordinated. It's probably some type of like infection. But why Tiga? Why you? Why the happiest man? Why'd they do it to the happiest thing? <laughs> Why'd they do it to the happiest thing? <laughs> Y'all, he still be smiling. We just talked to the nurse and everything, and um, his doctor is about to come in and check him up, and hopefully everything's okay with my man. What'd you say? I miss Celsius. I stopped drinking it because you guys told me to stop, but. I had a I'm Celsius fine. on the way home from the drive when we were driving, y'all. It was good. I'm starting to miss it. It's just like, coffee is but Celsius make you feel like you really about that life. Like <laughs> I was over here like, who is she talking to? Because I thought she was talking to me, and then I noticed that like my girls. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna show you actually how to make iced coffee though. My iced coffee. I'm gonna show y'all how to make a hot coffee. Pop it in the Keurig. Push start. Like, okay. Like this. Don't mind if I sound congested, y'all. I am, like, I don't know. You tell them how much Ezra weighs? Oh, yeah, y'all. Ezra weighs, at almost four months old, 16.8 pounds. That round up. So basically 17 pounds. Yep. At four months old. That's crazy. Also, what the doctor said about him, like, not having any bowel movement, she said, one, um, breastfed babies absorb a lot of the nutrients, so some 
Like there's been cases where some only poop once a week, which is crazy, it sounds crazy, but they're absorbing a lot of the nutrients. Now Ezra does go every day, so it's kind of abnormal for him not to be going. So she also said it could be the change in composition of my breast milk, like around this time, the composition changes. So it could be him like learning how to digest like the new composition, but she said he's fine. And then as far as his eyes go, she's gonna give me some drops to put in them and it hopefully should clear it up. She thinks it's bacterial because it was on both eyes, but it could possibly be a clogged tear duct. That's what Javon had and he had to get surgery when he was little. You had to get surgery, right? I mean, yeah, surgery sounds really dramatic. It's technically surgery, but all they did was just poke some holes on my tear ducts. So. Who knows what it is, but we'll see. If the drops work, then we're good. If not, we'll probably have to shift gears here. But let's make some coffee because we need to go to the office. We have so much work to do. Um, you have to make real coffee. I don't like iced coffee. Like I don't like pre-made iced coffee from the store. I feel like it's not as strong unless you guys have a good brand recommendation. I've tried the Starbucks one. I've tried the like brew or Stoke. I think it's like Stoke brew or something like that. Just make coffee at home, let it cool for like an hour. Now this is dramatic because it's like, girl, if I want coffee, I want coffee now. But you have to pre-plan. Like I made this coffee before I went to the doctor's office because I knew when I got home, I wanted to have the coffee. So you got the ice and you got the coffee. Now this isn't my favorite creamer, y'all. My favorite creamer is the cookie, what's it called, Javon? Uh, butter or cookie cream? The cookie well, butter, butter one. Butter. And it's actually an almond milk, so it's good for the almond milk girls. But right now we just have the caramel macchiato from Aldi. Now you just you just gauge it. That's good, you know. I like I like light skin coffee. I like light skin coffee. And then here's where you can kind of customize it. So with the cold foam, all it is is heavy whipping cream, and then whatever flavor syrup of your choice. I'm gonna do vanilla, girl. I feel like I cannot talk because my like. <laughs> They're not gonna stand. <laughs> but it's gonna taste like the sweet cream cold foam from Starbucks, but it's at home and you're not getting upcharged. So to make it, boom, boom, boom. And I say you can customize it because like if you want caramel cold foam, just get caramel syrup. Well, not like caramel syrup, but caramel, this kind of caramel syrup. Or if you want like, I've seen people do like peppermint cold foam, pumpkin cold foam. Pumpkin cold foam's a little different though because you use like the pumpkin in a can. Listen, at this point I'm a barista. And then for this, I literally, like I don't measure y'all. I just, until it feels right, until it feels right. And then you just whisk it together. Is this dead? Would be, would be. All right, so, so hopefully this works. No, there we go. Ah! Don't be all up in my hair. Jeez, I almost whisked my hair together. What is going on? Sorry for that. Technical difficulties. But then you just whisk it together for like a minute. And then once it starts to get this like foamy texture, then mix the coffee, get the cold foam. And she real pretty, real nice. Real delicious. Ooh. Oh, yes, girl. It's giving, hold on, it's giving thumbnail. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the content creator in me. It really is the content creator in me. Y'all about to see this on the thumbnail. For surely. And the cold foam is really good. Nice and sweet. Mm. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys an iPad tour because you guys were asking for it last vlog. So I'm gonna show you guys how I organize my days and how I become a productive queen. All right, y'all, we are up in the office. I had to change because it was too hot. I feel like it's cold in the morning and then by three o'clock, it's so hot. We're hopping right back into work and getting into workflow when you've got out of workflow is always a challenge, but 
let me just tell you Javon he got my iPad together so I want to show you guys I'm going to put on the screen what my iPad looks like just so we can go through a little iPad tour if you want to be organized if you want to be productive all the things I feel like this setup is ideal I have the iPad 7th generation so it's one of the older ones but it works just fine the only difference that I found between this one and the newest one which is what Javon has there's no um like button on yours right it's like a full screen so Javon doesn't have the button but other than that it's the same thing iPads are not that um, expensive y'all they're only like 180 yeah I thought they were way more expensive than that so it is definitely a good investment especially if you just want to be more organized I got this case from Amazon as well I love it because it props up like this I can use it at this sideways feature and then I also bought this pen off of Amazon it is not an Apple pen but it works just like one and it was like $20. Okay. All right, so let's get into this tour. So Javon set up all of these little widgets for me. I feel like the widgets help you because it's like the first thing you see on your screen. So of course I have my verse of the day. This is self-explanatory, just gives you that spiritual motivation because when you're trying to get into a child, sometimes you need the Lord to help you. And then I have my agenda, which I absolutely love. When I tell you, girl, I probably got like six notebooks just laying around this house that I would just randomly pick up and write my to-do list. So having it all concise in this app, in this um, iPad is super amazing for me. So we have the agenda and what I love is whenever I'm done with a task, so today's agenda is edit a TikTok. Um, I have to respond to some submissions and then pay the IRS because they are just but what I love is when I'm done with a task, I can just tap it and then it disappears. So it's like, okay, I'm actually accomplishing things. And then adding a task is super easy. I'm pretty sure you can just click. Yeah, you just click it and then you could add a little task. I actually need to make my to-do list today. So we're gonna go through emails. Um, I'm going to edit a TikTok. And then I love that it already has like saved task in there so if this is something you do frequently like I'm always editing so if I even type the word edit like edit TikTok already comes up because I've already done that task before so it remembers what task you've done and it just makes it easier then I'm going to let's do another one I need to plan my March calendar oops spell calendar wrong thank you one thing I found helpful is only keeping work stuff in here. There's no personal stuff on here. So even when it comes to like my tasks, like I don't put personal tasks. A personal task would be like, get your lashes done. You know, that's personal for me. That's not business. So I keep anything business related on my iPad. Anything personal usually just goes on my phone. All right, so after the agenda, we have my favorite thing in the whole entire world, which is Google calendars. Oh my goodness. Google ate down with Google calendars. This is the most functional calendar I have ever used in my life. I love this because when I create an event, I can invite people to this event and it just keeps everybody in the loop. So me and Javon have a lot of like similar events that we do. For example, we have our Mavon Atmo, which is just like our team meeting. So we have that every single Monday. And what's dope is we can invite our whole team to that meeting and all they have to do is click on a link and we're all looped in. And if I add a task on my calendar and add Javon, it automatically syncs to his calendar. So this is also great even for like family. So if you guys need like a family calendar, so everybody's looped in. I do even have some of like Genesis stuff on here. For example, like her first day of spring break, dress Genesis in spring colors. That's like one of her school events. I put that on this calendar and it also is synced to Javon's calendar just so we're both in the know with anything pertaining to Genesis. I do keep like personal and business on this calendar just because like I need my whole life organized. Um, but anything from like trips to business calls to school events, we keep on this calendar and everybody knows what's going on. So absolutely love that. And then I have my gmail widget on here as well so i can just see what emails are coming in but i feel like those three things are literally transformational when it comes to productivity when it comes to organization the google calendar is good for like the overall like week to week month to month basis the agenda is great for like the day-to-day -day task just so you can see everything that you need to do right here and then click it when you're done like it's just the easiest thing in the world and i absolutely love it 10 out of 10 recommending i'm an ipad girl the ipad has changed my life for the better thank you but I have a three o'clock meeting, so I'm gonna hop on that real quick and I will talk to y'all after. The amount of times I change a day is crazy because it's like I need a morning outfit, 
a going out outfit, a work from home outfit, than a going to pick Genesis up outfit because I either be too hot or too uncomfortable. <laughs> like I just need to switch it up. So I'm about to put on my picking up Genesis from school outfit. Very much loose, very much comfortable. This was my go-to when I was pregnant. Oh my gosh, I haven't worn this in so long. But it's getting warmer out, like I said. So I just wanna throw something on where I'm comfortable. I can move around, I could chase a toddler. Cause right now it's getting hot, it's a little, even though it's a little, it's still. I think I'm going to do some type of spring cleaning in this vlog. I don't wanna overwhelm myself and be like, we're gonna clean the whole house. But I think at least doing like a closet sweep through cause I have so many clothes I need to get rid of. Especially cause I've been doing a lot of shopping. I just need to be out with the old in with the new and the seasons are changing and I just feel like I have too many coats and sweaters which is the reason why it feels like I have nothing to wear when I literally have baskets filled with summer clothes in the garage. I am starting to embrace like my modesty journey like I was saying when I was doing that haul like I will never be a girl who's going to show up in a turtleneck so I never expect that out of me. I also haven't talked about this just because I feel like there's a lot of opinions and I wanted to go through that journey with God. I didn't want it to be like an in on authentic thing but I really do feel like I've kind of gained like an understanding and revelation about modesty like it really is beautiful and it honors God to not be out here just out here but again I'll never be a girl that's gonna wear turtlenecks but I do want to respect my body of course and I feel like little stuff like this is perfect where girl I'm gonna show a shoulder like that's just what it, I'm gonna show a shoulder like I'm going to show a shoulder but it's not like uber revealing where it's like girl what are you doing i never wanted to give that but i also still want to have some of me i don't know if this makes sense y'all these are just the thoughts that i'd be having in my head like it's a journey it's a journey and until you have a heart here it goes the heart posture change i feel like i didn't have a true heart posture change until recently so it would have been me just out here faking it just to appease y'all when i genuinely wanted to start my modesty journey for god and I feel like I'm at that point where I'm starting to receive revelation behind modesty. Like our body is a temple when we do these things that honors the Lord. It's a work in progress, but we're here. So I'm going to go get Genesis in my little dress. <laughs> y'all about to see me in some dresses, okay? If you say anything else out of me, I don't know what to tell y'all. It's starting to get hot and girl, I'll be moving too much to not have a dress on. So let's go pick up Jenna from school. She's going to come home on a snack want to play i think my best friend is coming over so she can take down my hair well her sister's gonna take down my hair because we're getting some braids i don't know if y'all are gonna see on this vlog because the appointment's on saturday but yeah we're going to take these braids on my head because girl they've lasted but geez like it's time you know me i have the peach yell so i was just telling them about like there's a difference between doing something out of obligation or like religion opposed to having like a genuine heart posture change and wanting to do it because you love Jesus. For example, I was talking about like my modesty journey. Like when I first came to Christ, like that first year, I really didn't change how I dress. And when I was in high school, like I very much gave crop tap me down booty shorts. Like that was the vibe. You just went to church? I wasn't even going to church the first year of coming to Christ. That was still when I was in high school. So, like, I was still very much posting up on the gram, getting the little shots, you know what I mean? And <laughs> I feel like it wasn't until, I would say the past year and a half, where, like, the Lord was really just revealing to me, like, the beauty and being covered. Like, there's a beauty in that, almost like a freedom. But the difference is, if I would have just immediately stopped dressing the way that I dress and did it because that's what it looks like to be a Christian, I wouldn't have actually gained a heart posture change from it. I would have just been doing it out of obligation and not because I love Jesus. Does that yeah, make sense? And you would have grown to resent it. And I would have, I would have grown to resent felt, it. You would have felt restricted. It's funny. I was thinking about that. That's a word. I was thinking about that when I was, it might have either been this morning or yesterday, but I was just thinking about how, like, without the Holy Spirit, you look at righteousness as restriction. Ooh. I can't do this. I can't, I can't do certain things. With not the realizing Holy Spirit, that the Holy, you look at it. That's freedom. Because you don't really want to do those things. Yes. And even when you do those things now, you don't want to do them. You I'm not going to say the name, but them. someone I spoke to recently mm -hmm. was saying how they don't like how they look. And mm -hmm. they don't like themselves. Mm 
Mm-hmm. But then he had to then follow up with, but I still be getting my smacks though, and I still meaning I'm, he still gets women, right? I don't know like I'm still smacks. sleeping with, yeah, okay, right. That I, that I that I'm still sleeping with a lot of women. Yes. So what I had to break down to him was that you're still sleeping with women because you're trying to uh, feed an insecurity of yours that women don't like you because you don't even like you. But mm-hmm. even in you sleeping with all these multiple women, you still don't like you. And you do it out of obligation because if you don't do it, then you'll really not like yourself at all. So you get that momentary satisfaction of like, let me sleep with this woman and I feel good about myself for like that hour. Right. Slavery, right? Slavery. Slavery to Thank sin, you. right? Like, I'm a slave to it. You're addicted to this thing, and you can't stop, because if you stop, then wow. you feel insecure about yourself. So I have to constantly feed my flesh in order to feel this temporary satisfaction. But it's not real satisfaction, yes. because if that was the case, you wouldn't need to do that to feel it. Wow. But yeah. I saw a TikTok about that. This dude, he was sitting in his bed, like, and he was just recording this TikTok, and he was like, the difference is, when you're a non-believer and you look at a Christian, like you said, you look at all the things that they can't do as, like, a restraint. But he was like... I genuinely have a heart posture of, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to be out there. Like, I don't want to be living in sin. Like, there is another way that's so much better than that way. And that's not to say that Christians don't still struggle with sin. The thing is, now that we have access to the Holy Spirit, we have help to combat sin. You know, we're not a slave to it where we feel like this is just what it is. Like, sin just comes and it just over consumes me to the point where I can't fight back. The Holy Spirit gives us power to fight back. So whatever you're dealing with, whether it comes to like sin, a certain way of life, like ask the Lord for a heart posture change. Ask him to reveal to you why, like, why don't you want me doing this thing, God? And I promise you, he gonna tell you. Well, and also it just hit me too. I just had a revelation. What is slavery? Doing something you don't want to do, but you have to do it anyway, right? And it's like. It's like somebody who is sitting there and they they have a porn addiction or something. Mm -hmm. You don't feel good after that. From experience. Mm -hmm. I used to be addicted to porn. I used to be addicted to weed. Like, we laying it all on the table. And I, there was literally times when I would go and smoke, but it wasn't because I wanted to. Like, I genuinely did not want to, but I was like, I have to. Like, this is all that I know. I have to go do it. Right. Make a dummy mission and go drive an hour and a half out. Exactly. But you got to stop and grab a shell. And it was a slip, and I didn't feel better. For a tin bag. I didn't feel better after that. Yeah, exactly. And that's, I mean, that's just what it is. And I think that, yeah, I think that you look at it from a restrictive standpoint, and you look at it as this limitation, but really you're unlimited. Yes. Also, look at what you can do with that time. You spend an hour and a half to go get a tin bag. (laughs) And (laughs) and now, and now it's like, you know, you have all this extra time to do you know, more productive and constructive. But again, things. even with like, even with weed, y'all, it wasn't until I saw the true reason, like the true reason why Jesus says no, that I was able to stop. Like if it was me doing it through discipline, doing it through my own strength, I would always go back. Mm-hmm. I would always go back. It wasn't until I received the revelation that like my body is a temple and that defiles my body and that I'm supposed to guard up the loins of my mind and doing that doesn't allow me to guard up the loins of my mind. That's called revelation from the Lord. And until you receive revelation and actually like retain it in your mind and that becomes a principle of your life, very much life, <laughs> you're going to continue to just be a slave to sin. I feel like that was a whole podcast. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like that was a whole podcast episode. Like, don't be a slave to sin. Anyways, we're here picking up Jenna. <laughs> For dinner tonight, I'm making burger bowls. So it's really good. It's like French fries, but not like store-bought French fries. Like homemade French fries with like lettuce, ground beef all over it, cheese, tomatoes. I love it. Onions. And it's supposed to be like a healthier version of a burger, but... When you really think about it, potatoes probably have as much carbs as bread. So it's like, just eat the burger, sis. But I would like to say that I'm down another five pounds. Hello. I'm actually 15 pounds away from like my six month goal. And then after the six months, we got another like probably 20 pounds to be at like my end all goal. Like, okay, I'm cool. Like, we good. Like, it's lit. So I am very proud of myself. We're actually going to be going to the gym tomorrow. I didn't work out today because I was not bothered to stress myself out. I knew I had so much work to do. So I just got into work first and foremost. But tomorrow we will be back working out.
Hey girl, it is Tuesday. It is a new day. So I worked out this morning and everything was great until I took a shower. And all my hair is falling out. Yeah. I took my braids down yesterday. Um, my best friend's sister came and helped. It literally took like three hours. It was obnoxiously long again. And remember when I got those braids, I told y'all my edges are about to fall out from this. Not only because I'm in post my postpartum era, but also like the way she braided my edges into the braids. Yeah. Not only did my edges fall out, but all my hair is falling off. And this happened with Genesis around four months, and I'm about to be four months postpartum this week. So it's just like right on time. And it's not even like, oh, like I lost a strand, like clumps, clump, y'all. Even when I was taking out my braids and I was brushing out my hair, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm losing a lot of hair. Maybe it's just from the braids. And then I take a shower to wash my hair. I'm pulling like, you can probably see. It is just, this, this is, this is it y'all. It's so crazy like what your body goes through even after having a baby. Of course you go through all those things like when you're pregnant and then you give birth, but it does not stop there. And the thing is I've literally been taking my prenatals this whole time. I have not stopped taking my prenatals because I'm breastfeeding. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna continue to take these for like at least six months postpartum. I thought that would help. And I think me, like my genetics, when I have kids, I just lose my hair because the same exact thing happened with Genesis. I remember literally crying, pulling out all my hair. So that's where I'm at now. I think tomorrow I wanna do some type of self-care day and make my own like rosemary hair growth oil. This one girl I know sells them, but it's like so expensive when I feel like I can just get the ingredients and make it myself. So yes, now I am just really rethinking this hairstyle I'm about to get. I was gonna get stitch braids, but it's like, put them stitch braids in your hair, you might end up with no hair, I don't know. Edges, gone, edges, gone. Like we need a mommy support group. This is absolutely insane. On the bright side, I got some food. Y'all, I'm actually really sad right now. Like I cannot even lie. This is crazy, like. It's already hard enough, you gotta deal with the postpartum body, like, okay. But now, my hair's falling out, it's like, do you just want me to look crazy? Just in the streets with no hair? <laughs> Anyways, I get these veggie wraps from this place called um, Euro Grill or something like that. And it's like a veggie wrap, or a veggie Euro. I... I'll admit it, I've called Euros gyros for like <laughs> a couple years. I didn't know it was called a Euro until I met Javon. It's called a Euro, okay? We got a Euro with some lemon herb Greek potatoes, a little tahini sauce, and then I also got their hummus. Their hummus is absolutely amazing. Let me show you. The hummus, girl, this is the best hummus I've ever had in my life. Like it is so, I don't know what they be putting up in here. Mm, oh my gosh, it's so good. But I have a meeting in 20 minutes and then we're gonna unbox a million packages because I quite literally have a million packages near the door and I'm not even about to move them into the kitchen. We're going to be unboxing on the staircase because there's just no way. We were gone for a week and it shows. I was like, girl, we live in a good neighborhood because <laughs> it was literally like 20 packages outside our door when we came in. Y'all pray for me, pray for my hair, pray for my edges, like send millions of prayers to the Lord. Like please intercede on behalf of my head. Cause this is actually so crazy. It's like everything was going so good postpartum. I'm like, okay, like I don't, you know, I'm not hitting any hiccups here. I feel good mentally, like, you know, still working through the postpartum bod, but I'm working out. So I feel good about that. But then there's certain things where you literally cannot control, like your hair falling out. And it's like, great. Great. This is why I need to build my prayer closet because I'm just about to go cry at the feet of Jesus like, Jesus, please. 
my edges. But I think we're gonna be doing the prayer closet tomorrow or Thursday. I'm just waiting for a couple more things to come in. And then, yeah, girl, we doing wallpaper. We're doing like furniture in there. We're doing like a whole thing. Like it's not just gonna be, oh, like empty closet. Like it's going to be a vibe for the Lord. But let me eat real quick, y'all. I'm so sad. Okay, girl. Packages on packages on packages. Let's do an unboxing. Okay, so when we went to Ohio, I didn't know we had this many packages coming in. But clearly we did. A lot of them are Amazon, so it's like, it's probably once a month where I just lose my mind <laughs> and just start frantically ordering stuff on Amazon. Okay, but these are good though, these are good because I've got some Bible highlighters. We're going to obviously be doing um, the prayer room, so I want it to look super cute. Like, I wanted to be giving the girls like aesthetic, but still for the Lord. Okay, that's better. I had to reposition myself. So, got some Bible highlighters. These are specific for the Bible because they don't bleed through, which is nice. Then I got some encouragement cards. I'm gonna be putting these probably like all over the wall. I'm gonna have like a bulletin, bulletin board where I like put my prayers so I can also put these. And then I got a fan because I don't know if y'all remember, but it was a couple vlogs ago where Genesis broke my fan. Like she was just walking around putting it in her mouth or something. I don't even know. Oh, this one's nice though. For the skincare. Oh, this is nice. This is like, oh, this is a big door. This is a big door. And it's also cute. So we love that. Okay, this is PR from Clarins. Clarins. <laughs> Love me a lip gloss. Love me a lip. Thank you. I don't know. Influencers be acting mad out of touch when they be getting PR. Like, I be hyped. I'm like, you wanted to send me? Little old me? Thank you. I love that. I'm going to be trying this out today. It's like, this is amazing. This is, this is not something to just slide by. This is great. When I say we about to be in here for a while, like, buckle up. Because I mean it. Okay, this is PR from Typology. Let's see. Their packaging is always very cute. I just turned my light off, y'all. I feel like it looks better in this lighting without me having my light off. But let me know. Let me know. We have so much to do this month, though. We're literally about to be planning a whole baby shower, which I'm super excited for. Oh, these are nice. But, like, how do they work? This is how they look, y'all. Oh, we can use these tomorrow when I do self-care. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. You know like the serotonin boost you get when you start um, packaging or unboxing stuff? It's just like, I live for it. it. Y'all, this is from our church. It says, our deepest condolences for your loss, praying comfort and strength for you and your family during this time. We love you, City Takers family from Scott and Tammy Free. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Oh, it says comfort candles. Wow. The best things in life are the people we love, the places we've been, and the memories we've made along the way. That is so cute. And then there's a little candle on top. My church is so sweet. That is actually so sweet, y'all. That just made my day. Having a good church community is so important. This is more PR. I never know how to say this this brand's name. They're a brand out of Trump. Packaging is always super cute. Let's do a little unbox. <laughs> Trying to be cute. Trying to be cute. Ooh. We got some products. We have an ultra rich dry and sensitive skin i've been needing a new moisturizer get in too real quick their stuff is like very very much high quality like mm, little baby powdery smell nice and thick but not oily love that and then oh nice we got some nail and cuticle oil i'm doing a pedicure tomorrow so this will be helpful i don't know what this is oh the magic key I get it, I get it. Like, so like that, and then you put it here. Is it supposed to like magnetic or what? I guess so. So like a little key switch. 
Not really quite sure when this would be coming in handy, but I appreciate the creativity. I think it is very, very cute. Very cute. Oh wait, another typology? More lip balm. Love that, love that for me. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Packaging, cute. I like to keep the packaging of all my PR because like sometimes I be putting this in little goodie bags and stuff. If I don't end up using it, I just give it to my friends. And then this is some SPF. All right, next, oh. This is from a baby brand called Bumble and Bumble. More PR. Oh wait, no, this is not a baby brand. This is hair care. So this is their repair trio. We've got some shampoo, conditioner, and a repair treatment in the way my hair is falling out. Maybe we'll just give this one a go. More Amazon. These are some supplements I got for Genesis. She's still battling with congestion. So I went on to Crunchy Mom TikTok and sometimes they get it done. So we got this kids echinacea. I checked and she can have this even though she's 19 months. So it's echinacea which just helps to support immune. And then this is some upper respiratory support from this brand. It's cherry flavored. It's 99.95 alcohol free syrup. And we are going to be trying this because my baby has just been going through it and everybody on Crunchy Mom TikTok was talking about how good this is. And like, don't get it twisted, like I am not a crunchy mom. I'm more of like a silky mom. Like I'll give, you know, healthy medicines, but like Genesis can also eat some Chick-fil-A. Like. <laughs> oh, I need to return these. These are about to go right back. This is when I was trying to find a bottle for Ezra, but we ended up going with a different one. Ooh, Hatch. Ah, thank you, Hatch. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. I'm doing a sponsorship with them for the baby Hatch, but I didn't know they were also gonna send me my own, very much own. I've been wanting one of these. I love this. Me and Javon, literally go on youtube every single night and put on rain sounds to go to sleep but now we have this what will we get next so this is all stuff for the prayer room i don't know what this is though so we got some cute pens picked up these pens for bible study great these are just some picture frames i'll show you them when we unbox them to do upstairs Oh yes, my prayer box. This is where I'm gonna keep all my prayers in this little box. And it comes with cards. Just so I can like keep track. And I feel like I'm gonna hang the unanswered ones on the bulletin board and then when they're answered, I'm gonna put them in the prayer box. This is a new teapot that I got. Where are you gonna put it? So this is the one I got. And then I think that's it. Half day, you guys know I love half days. They literally sent me three boxes of tea and they're like 20 pounds each. <laughs> and they're huge just sitting there. But that's all I have for this unboxing. This hatch, number one for sure. I'm excited about my fan. I need it right now. Ooh, yes. Oh, this is high power. Listen. Summer's coming, ladies. Get you a fan and keep that fan on you. You cannot be caught out here dripping. Should we try out this lip gloss? Okay, so this is from Clarence. I love like lip glosses that look like this. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's not sticky. It's not, or it's not sticky, it's not too thick. It is like the perfect texture. And it has a little tint. I like this. I like this a lot. There is an absolute disaster in front of me, so I'm going to get this cleaned up. I'm also planning on filming a newborn must-haves video. I have a lot of moms who are like expecting, who follow me, and they always ask me like, what product should I actually get? So I'm just gonna make a whole concise video for that, just showing you guys the products that work best for me. And um, Ezra is officially out of his newborn stage. It's 
so sad. He's actually taking a nap right now. I'm gonna show you guys the update on his eye. I ended up putting in the drops today. So the swelling has gone down, but you can still tell it's like a little crusty. Hopefully it gets better. We have to use that for seven days. So I will be doing, see these little bees in Atlanta, mad big. Like you should not be making a sound when you bang up against the window. Anyways, it's about to be pollen season in Atlanta, so hide your kids and hide your wife because if you know anything about Atlanta, that pollen will take you out. I never had allergies, y'all. I never was one to get sick until I came to Atlanta, and I'm over here sneezing, eyes watering, nose running. Oh, I'm over this. Oh, wait. We have another package. Oh, I think these are shelves. These are shelves, y'all. This is not interesting. They're shelves for the prayer closet. A little decor maybe like an unlit candle these are cute these are really cute just picked jenna up from school she she little little turned up y'all a little turned up she literally brought me to the, to the fridge pointed that she wanted some leftovers from last night i knew she wasn't gonna eat them i knew she wasn't gonna eat them but i warm it up to appease her because she's screaming that she wants it so bad put it on her plate sit her down and she says no. And then she says yogurt. Blue. Blue. Good job. What color are you wearing? Yellow. Yellow. Green. Green. Blue. 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 Wow. You're so smart. Y'all, I'm telling you. This little girl is so smart. First it was the animals. Now it's all the colors. Then you're gonna start counting, Jenna. It's crazy. Okay, what? Is like my toenail gone? First of all, what happened? What in the world? My pinky toenail is like gone, y'all. Girl, I was supposed to do a pedicure tomorrow. Ow, I'm like, my foot is burning. Ow. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta show y'all one of the houses we're looking at. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go visit it in April, but it is so beautiful. We're gonna cook tonight. No, I think Javon's cooking. I think he's making chicken curry. I'm not a big chicken curry fan. Like, it's okay, but. I really just don't like Jamaican food, like I'm gonna be honest. I'm not like a um, huge Jamaican fan. Is Love is Blind on? Oh, uh, it comes on tomorrow. We're gonna do a watch party tomorrow because we need to get into the tea. We were in Ohio and we were all having a watch party at the house, it was like 20 people. I was the only one who said Clay and AD weren't gonna get married. I was like, y'all are crazy if you really think that AD is actually about to commit. Or I mean, if y'all think that Clay is actually about to commit. It was all an act. He is a fraud. This man is not about to marry her. All he cares about is her body. She literally went to the altar and he was like, okay, body. Not, oh my gosh, my wife. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. This man said, okay, body. That's what I knew. That's what I knew. I was like, AD, you better run. You better run. You better run. And it's just so crazy to me. Like you get all that way and then you just say no. But I know that they'd be doing it because they're contractually obligated. Last vlog I was telling y'all, they literally be getting fined like $50,000 if they don't go to the altar if they're engaged to somebody. I don't know if that's true, but somebody on TikTok could be doing mad research. Yellow. Yellow. That little lip product I tried, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so, so cute. Love it, love it, love it. So I kept putting more on. Girl, first of all, it's a lip stain. So that's why my lips are literally... <laughs> Bright red. I looked in the mirror. I was like, oh, so it's a lip stain. It's not really like a lip gloss. So tread lightly with that because, girl, you will end up looking like a clown. Very much clown. Let me get Jenna situated. I'll probably talk to y'all upstairs when we're doing her night routine. But today was just kind of, she threw the banana on the ground because she wants the banana in the peel. It's the same banana, Genesis. Here, it's the same thing. No. no. Yes, it is. No. It is. So about no. No. Here. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, you wanted that too. Do you want to eat that? No. 
You don't want to eat that either? No. More what? Come on. Bye, y'all. We have some tea. Don't mind my nursing bra here. I'm trying to be cute, but also a mother. I got some more PRN that I did not see when I was doing the unboxing. And it's from this brand called Commando. They reached out. I looked at their website. Their stuff looks really nice. But I was like, these prices are crazy. For example, this bra, $78. So it's giving wannabe Kim, you know? I mean, it's a nice bra, but I ordered a large and just look, look at how this is compared to my chest. Legitimately, looks like a small to me. So their sizing is a little bit questionable when it comes to the bras. I ordered this tummy control underwear. This is the feather light control brief. And it's like a full, which is what I need in my life. I'm gonna try these on though and see if it actually helps, but they are like super, kind of almost mesh. So I don't know how well that's gonna work. But the thing I wanted to show you guys is the shapewear that I'm wearing. I feel like it's really nice. Um, it's a full body, so it goes from here and then it like, it doesn't have a bra insert, but it does hook like back here. So this part is all cut out so you can have your own bra, which I like because I wear a nursing bra. So like regular traditional shapewear doesn't work for me. Now, I'm just now getting into shapewear because before I had kids, baby, the body was T, so it never gave shapewear. But now that I got these kids, I'm like, please shake me, shake me. And I feel like I just haven't found like my, like my shapewear. Like this is nice. I feel like it does smooth things out, but I want something that makes me look like, <laughs> I'm straight off the table. Like <laughs> transparently, this is just not doing it for me. I mean, it's nice. Like it's nice. It's kind of holding me together, but I feel like it just smoothed and it didn't. And I need a, so if you know a type of shapewear, comment it down below. Cause that's, that's what the girls need. But ideally the shapewear I want is like the shorts and then the cutout bra. So if you know one that's like that, let me know. This, this is a pull-up bar. I get a lot of questions about what this is. <laughs> it's a pull-up bar and it's ruining the aesthetic and Javon needs to take it down immediately because he'd be busting out like maybe one pull up a month. No, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Let me not do my husband. He'd be busting out a couple pull ups, but it's just like take the bar down and then put it back up. You know, like why does it just need to be part of the decor? I did tell y'all that I was gonna show you the um, resort we're going to. So let me just pull it up for y'all real quick because I'm so hype. And isn't that so fitting? We're going to Rivera Maya, Mexico. And my name's Maya. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Okay, private pool. So this is the room we're staying in. I'm gonna show you the room because I can't find like pictures of the resort. Beautiful, beautiful. You get like a whole lounge space, beautiful bed, ambiance lighting. You get your own butler for the whole trip so he can schedule like all of your excursions. Obviously it's all inclusive. So like all the restaurants are there. Look at how beautiful and spacious this room is y'all. The bathroom is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. And then this is the private pool I was talking about. It's giving. I am so excited for this vacation. No kids. The problem is though that we need to figure out. Um, I want to start, I want to start combo feeding Ezra because though I absolutely love nursing, it's not realistic for me to be the only one that can feed him. And I am just not ever, 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 ever pumping again. I feel like me and pumping have just such a toxic relationship. So I don't even wanna put myself in that mind frame because I feel like if I start pumping and combo feeding that way, I'm just gonna stop breastfeeding altogether. I would rather nurse and then supplement one feeding a day with a formula bottle. That's my ideal situation that I want to start. When will we start that? I don't know. I was like, let me just finish out the month of March and then we'll start in April. But I know we're gonna get to April and I'll be like, well, let me just push it out more. And it's just like the further and further I push it out, I just don't wanna get into like may when we're literally leaving in may and this boy is just attached to me and i can't go anywhere you know it's just what's going to be best for me and my family in general because there's been a lot of like situations where i'm out literally just like grabbing groceries or something and then i have to immediately rush home because as is crying and 
it's just a lot i have a little bit of milk stored still from when i was pumping in the beginning so i have a probably like three days worth of breast milk for him so obviously when i start getting him like on the bottle i'm gonna start with the breast milk just so we can see you know get the bottle situation first but then when he starts to get comfortable with the bottle that's what i'm gonna start to implement um the supplementing with formula i think i'm going to go with the what brand is it kendamil we're gonna try kendamil so with genesis we did happy baby she had no problem with it but as i read more up on happy baby their ingredients are just not the best so kendamil seems to be like a pretty good brand and i just want to supplement one bottle like i'm not gonna go full formula fed and if you do that girl i did it too it, do it doesn't matter like fed is best but I love, absolutely love the bonding experience I have with my baby when I'm nursing him. So I want to keep that. But I also want to allow like a little bit of wiggle room if I step out for a little bit. Yada, yada, yada. Like moms are girls too. If I want to go on a vacation with my man. Like just knowing that he can take the bottle is going to be relieving to me. Now when I'm on the trip, I still am going to have to pump at least like three times a day just to keep my milk supply going. But other than that, that's kind of the vibe. And maybe when I get back, like, we'll just go right back to nursing all the way. Who knows? I know that my goal is to go is to nurse for a full year. And I'm pretty confident that, that we'll get there. So that's my spiel. Shapewear, 5 out of 10. It's like, it's okay, but it's not really doing what it needs to do. So if you guys have any recommendations, leave them down below. I'm gonna take a shower y'all the nursing bra the vibe the vibe of the nursing bra like at this point we just we're mothers we're there's a lot of moms here y'all get it try to be cute and this is what I get <laughs> I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow um and we're just gonna pick up we need to go get passports tomorrow I'll catch up with y'all in the morning good morning girl it is thursday so i didn't talk to y'all yesterday but there was really not much to chat about y'all i was doing a lot of office work i had a lot of meetings so i was just basically in the office all day but last night javon and i were like let's just go out to dinner as a fam did a little spontaneous outing to longhorn steakhouse and probably the worst decision we've ever made because javon now has food poisoning <laughs> literally food poisoning like he was up all throughout the night throwing up throwing up like it wasn't just like a little oh my stomach hurt i just need to throw up and then i'll be fine he couldn't keep anything down like he would drink water and he just kept throwing up He's throwing up this morning literally threw up all over the kitchen um so it's it's been an eventful morning to say the least i'm used to having like two of us to tackle the morning routine so genesis was um you know she was it was it was interesting this morning and uh it, it, i was just so frustrated y'all like i was just so frustrated so overwhelmed and then i just said a prayer and it wasn't even like y'all it wasn't even this whole elaborate like calling on the heavens armies like it was literally like god i am about to lose it and i need you right now i need you and now I'm just like doing it. I'm just doing it. So God sees you in like the little moments. It's not always the shouting down the, the, the devils in hell type of prayer. Like sometimes it is as simple as like, God, please help me in this moment. But here's what the agenda is looking like today. We have to go get Javon some, some supplies. I'm going to go to Sprouts to get him. I think he told me to get him some pineapple because I guess it has more vitamin c than oranges i don't know he's probably on google um looking up stuff Ooh, i'm at duncan right now though so i'm trying to get a little hello Let's order whenever you're ready thank you can i please have a small churro ice signature latte okay. and then an avocado toast thank you but we're gonna go to sprouts to get javon some supplies we're gonna get him pineapples to a turmeric drink pedialyte in apple cider vinegar he's probably at home like googling remedies and stuff so i'm gonna just i'm gonna just trust it but one thing about man when they sick girl it is all hands on deck like you would really think <laughs> that these men have never been sick before no but i get it he actually is really sick like it's not even like a low-key sick like he's out here fighting so 
we're going to very much nurse him back to health i really wanted to go to target and ulta i don't know how possible that's going to be today i really had some errands to run but you know things change things change yeah today is just going to be like whatever it is i really have no agenda <laughs> i have no plan i i'm trying to be like more planned but I also feel like sometimes when I do that, I like extend myself no grace. And when I go outside of my plans, I be feeling bad about myself. So we're just going to take it for what it is today and get what we can get done. All right. So this is what I got. It's their new churro ice signature latte. Let's give it a go. Ooh. It's got two pumps of churro syrup milk whipped cream caramel drizzle drizzle and cinnamon sugar one thing about duncan though they drinks is just straight sugar that's why they taste so good <laughs> like their signature drinks i only like their signature drinks i don't really like like their very much regular schmegulars i really wanted to film a self-care video for y'all because i feel like i really need some self-care i just need something i need to to breathe through this moment but first things first we're going to take care of my husband very much husband so i'll see y'all at sprouts we're going to get some nursing supplies and i'm going to juice for him so maybe we can do like our juice while we do his juice i'm gonna make him pineapple juice and then we're going to do like our immunity boosting juice all right i think i'm finding almost everything i'm just gonna look at some snacks for jenna but one thing that has been on my mind that i want to talk to you about is like I just want to let you know how much I love you. How much I love you, girl. Because God knew what he was doing, making me blow up on YouTube and not TikTok. Because it is just so crazy. I feel like the hate that some TikTokers be getting just for literally like living life, it's, it's really sad. It really is. And it's such a blessing that I've established such a loyal, genuine support because I just feel like TikTokers will blow up and they'll have like huge millions of followers, but like their following is just so wishy-washy and then will switch up on them so fast. And I just can't relate, like, <laughs> I just can't relate. Like, I love my girls, like we're genuinely like best friends. And it's just like some of these TikTokers really be fighting. And it's honestly very disheartening because I feel like people lack compassion when it comes to like, people of high followings or people what they call celebrities and stuff like that i'm not even gonna name names but there's this one girl i follow who i love her content like she's bomb like she's the poster girl of tiktok like all the girls love her and then i went in her comments and it was just hate 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 and i'm just like y'all are lame when i went into her comments and i just still still saw hate it's just like I know it's I know it's y'all <laughs> not y'all but I know it's like the public it's not the creator because people will literally find something to hate about and I don't like that like I don't like hater energy it's just not cute it's not good like I don't like it but I love my girls though moral of the story is I love my girls I appreciate y'all so much because I would be in shambles <laughs> I would be in absolute shambles okay this is what I found though apple cider vinegar 100% pure pineapple juice so I might just save time and grab this and then we can still juice our stuff in the house then he said get some turmeric juice and then the last thing I need is just some Pedialyte Okay, girl, my camera died, but we are upstairs in the guest bedroom. First and foremost, this room is just, it's beautiful. Like, all the natural light. I love this bed frame. And I just feel like it needs to be utilized more. Obviously, it's a guest bedroom, so it's only utilized when guests are here. But it got me thinking. I'm like, this closet, I can make some shape with it. We have a lot of stuff in here. I always underestimate my projects. This is gonna take some some work. But just imagine me shutting the door, very much door. 
praying to the Lord. Oh, I need to like look in these spaces before I go buying stuff because I bought wallpaper. Put these shelves. How am I gonna put wallpaper over this? How am I gonna put wallpaper over that? I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna figure out a way. We're gonna take all this out. One of these walls is gonna have wallpaper on it. I'm not sure which. Um, <laughs> I got wallpaper. I got a beanbag chair. That's probably gonna go here. This is probably gonna be my seating area, like here in this corner. This is probably gonna be where, like my little bench goes. For the Lord, I'ma do it, but I know I'm going to be so happy that I did this. It's just like the getting started process. Okay, first things first. Sorry, mama. These are all my mother-in-law's clothes. I'ma fold them and I'ma put them in the dresser that we got her. Cause I didn't forget about you, mom. I know that you still gonna need this, but I just, I gotta do what I gotta do here. I say I wanna like, you know, I'll start this today and then I'll finish it like next week. But like, I'm gonna probably finish it today cause that's just the type of person I am. But also I do have a dinner at 7.30 with my girls. So I actually really don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this today, but we'll at least start it and we can finish it next vlog. It's gonna be a bore, okay, for y'all to watch me do this. So I will catch up with y'all when everything is cleaned out. I did it and it wasn't as bad as I thought. We've got some, some room. So here's what I'm thinking. If I really want this to look how I want it to look, I have to take this down. Let me look at the wallpaper. I'm gonna bring up this stuff, all the boxes, so we can kinda see what we're working with. I did get some really, really cute pictures that are like all the names of God. It's like Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh, and it's, I think it's like nine of them that I might put on here. But let me grab them so y'all can see for reference. Let me show y'all the plants. So I got this at Target. I thought it was super cute, but it was extremely overpriced. It's like $50 for this little baby plant. This is the wallpaper and I'm very much confused because what is this? What is this? We're gonna see. But if not, it's going right back to Amazon and we'll find a new one because I don't, I don't like how this looks already. I wanted like the faux wood wall. Oh wait, no, it actually might. You see the vibe? On the whole wall. I showed you guys everything else when I was doing the PR unboxing, but I did not show you these. These are the pictures I was just talking about. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Ra, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Shama. That's it. Those are all the Jehovahs we got. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is put these in the frames. Even if we just get some shelves, some frames, and like maybe the beanbag chair up here. I'll, I'll be happy with that. Maybe that'll be the goal today. But I found these cute thumbtacks in a drawer and these are gonna be perfect for my little bulletin board for my prayers. I love that for me. These are the frames I got, they're an oak. Let me also preface by saying, you do not need to have a prayer closet to talk to God, okay? I am just extra, I love like, curating spaces and this is something that's fun for me but don't think you need to have this cute aesthetic prayer closet to talk to god one thing about god he's available 24 7. he has a line that is waiting for you to call you do not need to have it all together you do not need to make it look cute you can just talk to him these are the frames so i'm gonna go ahead and put all of these pictures in the frames and i think they're gonna look oh yeah they're gonna look really cute let me put these together I will get past it's not so bad. Yeah, yeah. Feel me within, I'm gonna win. He got a question, cause I got you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cause I got you. I forgot we had this rug and I was like, this would be really cute in here. When it comes to hanging stuff on the wall, like I do not trust myself. I feel like Javon needs to help me and um, he's taking a nap. Maybe I just need a little circle rug. 
because this is way too big. We know we need a rug. Put my little plant. I'm gonna get my chair. Go down a little bit though. Oh, you already put it on? You know those, those lights that go over? Mm -hmm. So maybe instead on this wall of shelves, we can do the prayers and then the light over the prayers. Mm. I think that'll be dope. Here's the chest, y'all. It does come with legs, but given the space, I think it would look better without legs to keep it lower. Right. This might be to go over here. Perfect fit. Ah, I'm so excited. It's looking good. Like, oh, let me open up, get my book pray mm -hmm. you know okay just last thing quick help me to hang up these on that wall cute cute oh, i love that don't you love like my creative eye how i could just make something out of nothing jesus was a carpenter so he's given us the ability and we needed a night light anyways in here so i think that light is going to be perfect when you want it to be like right intimate and moody intimate moody it's the born name rich 5 a.m <laughs> Prayers. Y'all look at Ezra. He's such a big boy. His eye is all cleared up. You're trying to crawl. Where are you going? He's rolling over, y'all. I don't know if I told y'all, but he is literally rolling over. Like and you're 17 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, you're so strong, Ezra. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> like you showing out, little man. When did you Oh, and you're looking left and right? Oh, he's trying to look at the fan. And up. You can just look all over, huh? That neck strong, huh? Right. That neck strong, man. You touch it. Sweet boy. We're using command strips and we're just gonna strip them to the wall. <laughs> Okay, y'all, uh, great progress is being made. We've got these up. Don't mind the rolling lines. Lighting is not the best in here. Ended up putting this up. This is gonna be the prayer board with all of our prayers. And then I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know if I want this up yet. Kind of just experimenting. Um, but we've got our prayer box ended up I actually got this on Shein and then some pens a candle and I knew I was gonna use this one day or another I love how this looks it's like a stone it's wet because I just washed it but I'm gonna put all of my little pins in here for the board so I have these push pins that I just need to open and I'm gonna put them in here for my little prayer cards so once I have a prayer I'm gonna write it down and put it on my board okay so i ended up taking the pompas off i put this one up here just for like a cute little touch i'm going to add all of my books along this this lighting is so bad y'all i'm so sorry but i'm gonna get some book stoppers so i can put it in the middle so it's kind of like more aesthetically pleasing this is so cute i'm so happy with how this turned out y'all all right y'all i am just feeling so joyful. I feel like this is exactly what I needed. Oh my goodness. I'm just so excited for all the prayers and the time I'm gonna spend with God in this room. I already know, we gonna get zeal. <laughs> but we're gonna wrap up the vlog. It's been a very long week. We've gotten a lot done and I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of the progress I'm making. I'm proud of the habits that I'm starting to pick up and starting to lay down as well i think that i'm doing pretty good and sometimes girl you gotta tell yourself that <sighs> this is beautiful this is beautiful i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait to just soak with god in here i might add my alexa speaker so i can play music because there's an outlet which is good so i might put my speaker in here or maybe my ipad will be sufficient We'll definitely add some more touches here and there, but I think overall this is amazing. I love you guys so, so much. Um, I will pick up next week with y'all. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I love you. I appreciate you so much, girl. Like, you don't even know. 
me and you go together real bad okay <laughs> but i'll talk to y'all next week bye